Happening tonight, crews from Charlotte were down in York County, South Carolina, spring for mosquitoes. This comes after a confirmed case of the West Nile virus there. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton headed down to check where those crews were spraying, and he tells you how you can protect yourself from contracting the virus. Well, this really is a preventative measure. And after speaking with people here living in this area, a one mile radius of Mills Lane and North Sutton Road, they say that this is welcoming news as crews are expected to spray into the early morning hours. No, I don't have any, but my son does. He got bit today. An extra blanket of protection sponsored by South Carolina Health and Environmental Control. This after another person contracted the West Nile virus in York County. We have been bitten by mosquitoes in the past week or so, so it has occurred to me that, you know, we could have it. Back in August, West Nile was the biggest buzz around Rock Hill when a person and mosquito tested positive for the possibly deadly disease. We sat outside with Elena Morgan, mother of two. A little girl who just turned three and a six-year-old son. She's not taking any risks when it comes to West Nile. I did call my pest control company as soon as I heard and had them spray on Friday. Still, health officials say the spray may not be enough, so you have to take matters into your own hands. And for kids, Dressing for protection, not popularity, is recommended. Lighter clothing actually doesn't attract them as much as dark clothing. Uh, longer sleeves or pants obviously would be a better barrier. Health officials say that it's not uncommon for a mosquito or a person to contract the West Nile virus here in York County. Additionally, though, they do say that 80% of people who contract that virus don't show any symptoms. In York County, Xavier Walton, NBC Charlotte.